Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can create Zarvis program using Python. So let's open the VS code and now click on new file and just select that Python file and let's save that file. So just press command S and just type your Zarvis new new game or something dot pile. Just save it. Okay, so that's our file. Now let's write the code. So first of all, we will import the one library and that is called import py double t s x3 this will convert text to a speech okay now another we will import the speech recognizer so just type here import and type your speech underscore recognizer as sr now we need to import date and time also so just say the from date and time like this and import this as a date time okay now we need to call and we need to initialize that library so what i will do i just call here engine equal my library names at pi double t s x3 dot in it call this like this now we will call here text to a speech so i just write here engine dot say okay save the method so that will convert any text to the voice so i'll just say the hello tcb how can i help you okay enter now at the time we will just call here one more thing engine dot run and wait okay like this now that we have in a slice now what i will do in this program we will ask uh, to the Jarvis like what's the current time okay so what we need to do we need to import or we need to get the current time also so what i will do i will get that time using date time method okay so how we can do that so i will I just do one thing now equal date time dot now function enter then the we need to create the one variable like current time okay current time equal now dot str f time and then just use your percent h and then we need to use your format so i will use the uh, r then the minute and then the second like this now we will create one function so we just need to define dev and the function name is take command okay command call it now in that function column in that function we will call we will create one variable like command equal sr sr is our library that we have that we have defined sr is speech recognizer here you can see that we have defined so we just need to call sr dot recognize so just type r e c o g n i z d r and function enter and then we need to call with sr dot microphone microphone function as a source okay and we need to print print it just like listening okay listening like this so good now we need to call your one line here that is command dot adjust this is important sometimes you will get the error okay so make sure you need to write that code command dot adjust for ambient and noise function and that is called source now just type here command dot pause assault equal one and audio we will get that audio here in the audio variable audio equal command dot listen and the source like this now we will use a try catch okay so try column and we need to type here print recognizer recognizing and just dot 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 you can you know, say anything like uh, we are listening or something recognizing okay text and then query because this is called after listening okay and then query equal command dot 
recognize underscore google and here we need to define audio comma language we need to define your language so i'll just define equal en and dash n now we need to type here print and you just say we can define that what we have a sad okay so i just say you sad okay you said and i will just call here the query like this one now if someone say suppose if uh, if if just the jarvis say hello tcb how can i help you okay and then this will call the listening okay this will call the microphone then i just say the please uh, please tell me the current time or i just say the current time please okay so i'll just use your phrase if someone say okay in the current time please if someone say current time please so if that current time please text in that query okay if it's exist in the query then what i'll go i'll just call the engine equal pi txx3 library dot in it we'll initialize that again and then it just say the engine dot say say and i just say the current time we we already have defined that current time as you can see that one current time okay so i just say current time this one and then i just call engine dot run and wait cool now we will use your expect so i just use your expect exception as an error column and then return none or you can return the error also here return none and then enter and just say return query here like this and in the last we have to call that function okay so just copy that function and just paste it or just type here take make command function like this okay now let's let's run this and let's see the error okay what we are getting so let's click on the run command and as you can see what we are getting here hello tcb how can i help you and as you can see listening so i just say here current time please okay you just say recognize and you say it i just see your current time okay so what i need to do i just need to only say the current time because here you can see the we have to use else condition if we say something wrong so let me just run this again okay and just run this hello tcb how can i help you current time please okay we have done this mistake actually in our uh, query here you can see the i have just uh, wrong that uh, current spelling so i just remove that current that's the current time please okay and let's run again hello tcb how can i help you current time please 14 hours 24 minutes and 3 seconds okay thank you so that's the program that we have created that i have just added only one thing that we are getting the current time and we are just getting that time and our jarvis tell us that current time you can add multiple things here you can add lot of things here okay so in the description of the video i will i will just put all commands okay how we can install pytt xx3 speech recognizer you know you will get a lot of error okay while you creating that program so i will give you some that links that will help you to solve that problem or if you need any help on that so just comment on the video i'll try my best to solve your problems thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe my channel like this video and share this video have a great day bye bye <laughs>